Hello and welcome to today's video for Tuesday, the 23rd day of July 2013. My name is Derek and we have most likely or huge probability odds, the lowest level closing above the 18 average of highs. I'm going to finish this video with some algebra and statistics and that's not going to be that far off, but before we get into it, this uh, period today, which is more of a consolidation from yesterday's uh, bull move, thus finding support at an area that was resistance. As I was stating yesterday, if this thing goes lower, pretty much breaking down below this low and below the 18 average of lows, this would be that of a failed break it and you could expect at least a test of this level but right now i do not expect that to be favored by any means whatsoever i'd be looking for a move at least up to these this next level at around 21 and a half now the last time it has had the situation of staying above completely the 18 average of highs well i have to go back to one of my older charts i'm gonna go back to one in february and well here we are right in here this was the last time a situation where it came back to correct in here but obviously the correction failed and back in here people were talking oh man it's it's down so much at 29 which of course is significantly lower or we're significantly lower than where we were back in here therefore now let's uh, get on to the whole statistics part i'm going to put a fake chart up which would actually take us pretty much to that resistance point now what would occur or how possible would it be for there to be, ever become a day where it goes up eight dollars or 39 percent in just one day what would the odds be of this happening? What type of fundamental events would occur for this to happen? But for this exercise, what we're going to do is say you are a gambler or investor that wants an edge in your favor. And you have the opportunity to bet that silver will gain $8 in one day. It's assuming the market has closed right here and you make a wager it's going to make $8 that day. So what would be what, what would be the amount you would want? What kind of pay it would you want? So we're going to do some algebra and my answer is this. A, B, C, and D. And you could use any four letters for it's A, multiply B, multiply C, multiply D. What is A? Well, A is the chances of which this would occur, which would be another way of saying one divided by its percentage. So let's just say it is 0.2%. Or you can even just say how many in one is it going to be? What is it, a thousand in one shot that it makes eight dollars tomorrow? Two thousand in one? I'm not that good at figuring out at a, a good approximation of what it is, but for this exercise, I'm gonna say fifteen hundred in one. So A is equal to fifteen hundred. B. Now, if you're gonna win this bet you're going to get paid whatever the odds are and it's rare it's going to happen but how much of your purchasing power is going to be lost on that one day itself if of course silver is up 39 percent because ultimately you are going to get paid back in fiat dollars and you want to make sure that you don't lose on the daily inflation hit so let's assume that you're planning on buying a lot of silver and gold you could say right now it's 40 percent but there are other things you want to get we'll say 1.25 so now we got a we got b we need c and d what would c be what are the odds that you could even 
still exchange a currency if this happens. Okay, it's pretty much guaranteed, but there might be a 1% chance that uh, it's not going to work. So we'll put 1.01 .01 and D. What would we want for D? Well, D is you want to have an edge. So you realize there's a 1500 in one shot of this occurring. You're probably going to lose 25% of your purchasing power on a win. And you're going to have a 1% shot that what you win is worthless anyway. And you know there's a decent chance you could be wrong on this 1500 number. Maybe it's 1700 in one. So you want to get a decent edge, maybe a 15% edge. So I would take the 1500 multiply 1.25, multiply 1.01, .01, and multiply, say, 1.1. I would want at least 2,100 in one odds that tomorrow, on Wednesday, it would gain $8 an ounce. Just do some mathematical fun. Now, another reason why I'm doing this chart is at any given point, the, a move of a major magnitude could come into play. Obviously, if this occurs, it's fairly safe to assume that gold would be up 100, 150, 200, 300. Safe to assume that the dollar index would be falling hard. Safe to assume that I have no idea what's going to happen in the equity markets on an event like this. So that is it. Just wanted to go over some algebra and statistics as I just did and uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.